Hi guys, welcome to another thrift haul. Today we're gonna look at some jewelry that I collected over the past few months. I decided that I wanna start looking for nicer jewelry at estate sales and maybe thrift stores, I'm just not sure yet. I really haven't delved much into the world of thrifted jewelry because I don't really know what I'm looking at. This has me wanting to learn a little bit more. A few months ago I decided I was ready to start going back to estate sales. I looked at estatesales.net, it's the app that I use to find estate sales, and I just started looking through the different pictures. There was an estate sale that had quite a bit of jewelry, and one thing in particular that I was interested in, so I decided to go. And that is sort of what prompted this new collection of jewelry. In addition to that, in the local newspaper there was going to be a rummage sale at a church, so I thought, Okay, let's do it. Beginning with the estate sale, when I got into the sale, there was a sea of jewelry and a lot of it was prepackaged, and there were multiples of the same thing. That's what we'll start with. It was really inexpensive as well. There were multiple pairs of these crescent moon earrings, so I picked one up. It's just a little inexpensive pair of studs. This packaging looks like it might be from the 80s. A lot of the jewelry looked like it may have been from the 80s. I, I wonder if this person had a little business, perhaps. I picked up this star pendant. Got a little gem in the center. I figured that I would just give this to my sister. I really like this heart pendant. Again, I'm gonna give this to my sister, but I thought that she might wanna engrave something on it. I ended up getting a few things, so they just bundled the price. In addition to those, I got this pair of dangly heart earrings which are super sweet. The woman who owned the house had a huge craft room. It was so much stuff. I know there were probably treasures there but it was just almost too much to go through. There were quite a few people digging and camped out looking for things. There were stamps and charms and beads and all sorts of things. The only thing I picked up in that room is this little baggie. Inside of this little baggie are these cat charms. They're just inexpensive. They almost feel like tin cat charms. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those but I like cats, so I figured why not pick it up. So I really do like rummage sales. They're normally, in my area, the rummage sales that I find are at churches. I haven't gone to a church rummage sale in at least a year and a half, and so I thought I'm ready to go back. There was this rummage sale that was mentioned in the paper. I planned on going, and then for some reason I forgot about it until the second day. It just dawned on me that I had forgot about it. I made it on the second day. It looked like there was still a lot left, I know that the first day it must have been piled with goodies. I just started to walk around this big room with different tables and different sections and I found the jewelry section. At the beginning I picked up only one thing, this locket. It opens up and you can put a picture inside or two pictures inside. I have really been into lockets lately. For any friends or family members who are having babies, I've been giving them a locket with their child's picture inside. I had a friend who had a baby last week. I got this knowing that she was having her baby. I plan on putting a picture inside and sending this to her. I did the same actually for my brother and his partner had a baby in September. For Christmas, I got her a tiny locket and put a picture inside. It's one of my new favorite things to do is to buy lockets and to put pictures inside. I was looking for a locket, so I'm glad I found one. Then they made an announcement that everything was 50% off and the jewelry table said that you could fill a little paper bag with anything that you wanted from the jewelry section for $5. So I went back over, the woman gave me a bag. She said, fill it, fill it. And I, I, you know, I wanted to get a few things, but I didn't wanna take too many. And I'm gonna show you what I got now. I picked up this set of I think it says Alaskan Jade jewelry. I don't love the style of this, but no one was really interested in it, so I just figured I'll put that in the bag and, and figure out what to do with it later. I got, what else here? This pair of earrings, which reminds me of Egyptian jewelry. I don't really know what these are made of. I like the style of them, and I think they are the earrings where you put the green stone will go in the front and then the other piece will hang underneath. I also think it would look pretty just all of it being on the surface. An emerald green stone and then gold. I thought these were beautiful. And I threw some things in that I probably wouldn't normally buy. I saw this pair of cufflinks monogrammed with a J as well as this tie, I think it's called a tie tack, a tie clip. And my name begins with a J. Not that I would wear these, but maybe I would, I don't know. I decided when I went back what I was really interested in was finding some nicer chains. I found this chain as well as this one and this chain. These are, as you can see, 
They're all gold, but the colors are different. This is very yellow, but I like these. I had a necklace sort of like this that I, I don't know where it is. I was happy to find a replacement. Even though this one is more structured, they sit very similarly around your neck. I love the look of those. I spotted this necklace, which I was not interested in the charm. I was interested in the chain on this necklace because I think it's gold. I don't know what carrot it is, but I do think it's gold. And that's also why I got this necklace here because of the chain. I think it's gold. I found a few chains, which I'm really happy about because they can be kind of pricey if you just buy them. I know there are ways that you can tell whether or not jewelry is gold. I think you put it in a cup of water and it sinks or floats or something. So I need to check to see. Finally, what I found some pieces that I just thought were fun. This is a cameo and it's a clip. I'm not sure if this clips on maybe a sweater or any sort of top like this. Is that what you're supposed to do? You could certainly make this into a necklace if you wanted. Picked up this little pin. I thought the leg had broken off, but he's marching, so this is him marching. I thought this was fun. It's a clown, obviously, and it's an articulated clown, so his legs move. Yeah. This is a Statue of Liberty charm, and I love finding vintage charms. I also found this vintage bingo charm. It's got a clip on it. This will be a neat addition to my charm collection. It's, it's a lot of fun to search through vintage jewelry and it's also fun to share it. So I hope that you enjoy this as well. It's, I think it's something I might continue to look for. And I would love to know if any of you have found any interesting jewelry at estate sales or thrift stores even. Thanks for joining me and I will see you again next week. Have a good week.